Hey guys, it's your girl so fine back with another video. Um, if this is your first time seeing me, hopefully you guys would like the content that I have. You're gonna subscribe, give me a thumbs up if you like what I'm saying. Otherwise, we're back with another hair video. We're back talking about how we can make our retwist last longer. If you are interested in the tips that I have for making your lock retwist last longer, please stick around and keep on watching. So we're going to get right into it. The first thing that I want to say is personally what I do. So personally what I do is I retwist every two months. So I wash and retwist the two months. So in between the two months, I'm not washing my hair. I'm not retwisting my hair. I'm not doing a gentle retwist. I am not doing any kind of that. I just let my hair be. I just let my hair... I'm really a minimalist in my hair and how I am with my hair. Like I just... Do the bare minimum i water and um i moisturize with water and vitamin e oil every week or so and that's pretty much it i don't do much styles because as you can see right here this is one of the styles i did so i retwisted my hair i washed retwisted about three weeks ago and this is how my hair has been for the past three weeks so if i would decide if i want to put my hair on a ponytail i can do so otherwise this is the style that it is in and i normally like to do this because it stays in longer, which we're gonna get to a little bit later. And I also get another style with while I'm with the retwist ones. I take these out. But let's go into the first one. And that was actually a little segue into that. Um, when you retwist your hair, maybe when you wash and retwist your hair, going and putting it into a style. So when many when many people retwist their hair, they can do a two-strand twist style, they can do a braid, they can do an updo, they can do there's so many styles that we can do it once we retwist our hair that we can also do and put it in. So it's really good to have a style because when you have a style, not only will your retwist stay locked in because it'll be staying in that, in that same style for however long that you keep it in, but yeah, it just makes your hair look a lot neater and put together. If you like that kind of aesthetically and having your hair all nice and put together, retwisting it and putting it into a style is perfect. It's easy to manage. You don't have to wake up every morning deciding what am I going to do with my hair? What style am I going to do? Do I want to put on a ponytail? Do I want to do an updo? Is there stuff? Like because your hair is already in the style, you can do minimal style. Like, like I said, I have a two-strand twist. If I want to put it in a ponytail, I can. But otherwise, my hair is pretty much done for however long I decide to keep this in. So like I previously mentioned, I wash and retwist my hair every two months. So this two strand twist will stay in my hair for the first month and then I will take it out for the curly style for that second month. And I really like it because it works out for me. Like like I said, it's a two in one style. I have the two strand twist. Next week when I take them out, I'm gonna have a curly hair and I'm, I'm gonna rock the curly for another three or four weeks. And then I'm back to my, walk, my retwist and my wash. And that leads into the next part, part that I want to say is um, at least having a schedule. So I came up with my wash and retwist schedule about two months into my log journey. I am currently three years and November, December, January, February, we are in March, five months. So three years and five months into my log journey. Um, within my two months in, I decided, okay, I'm going to wash my hair and retwist every two months because I wanted to give my hair a break. I wanted to... Give my hair some time to at least grow, to ravel, to whatever I need to do, bud, lock within those beginning stages, just for it to do whatever I want to do. I didn't want to constantly have my hair, my, my hand in my hair, every month worrying about retwisting and doing all this stuff. I just said every two months, I'm just wash and retwist and just let it go. I will moisturize my hair along those weeks, and that's exactly what I did. And I say it's best to work with a schedule, whether it's that you want to retwist every month, every five weeks every six weeks as long as you have a set schedule that you know like okay after a certain amount of time i'm going to wash a certain amount of time i'm going to retwist you know when you can work towards that so like when you know that you have a bad hair day okay within another two weeks i'm gonna get a retwist so i'll be fine i'm imagining i'm gonna stick it out so you have something to look towards when you just go off a whim it's like oh when i feel like it i feel like it yeah that can benefit or work for other people but when you have like a structure i feel like things move a lot more smoothly you have a date you have a time that you can look forward to like okay I, on this day i'm gonna dedicate this specifically for my hair because honestly if you do your hair yourself it's a whole day process like to wash it to retwist and if you let your hair air dry that's another one so um and that's what i do otherwise yeah 
So another way that we can make sure that our retwist lasts longer is by tying our hair at night. So whether you use a do-rag, you would use a silk scarf, a satin scarf, a bonnet, just anything to keep your hair down at night. Um, I personally, when I um, wrap my hair at night, I have a headscarf that I tie around my head and then, so that's just to protect my roots. And then I have a bonnet that I put on afterwards and that's for my ends because the headscarf is just going to keep everything nice and neat at the top of my crown and the bonnet is just to hold my, my bo the bottom part of my hair because I do not want it out. Um, rubbing against my pillows or my fabrics, getting dried out with this material because it's cotton on my bed. And just protect and lock in all the moisture that I put in whenever, whenever I did. Whether it was that week, that day, or however much longer it was. Like the same way though girls with the lace always have that band in the front to tie down that lace to keep it melted to make it look good. Use a headscarf. Use a do-rag. That is how we're going to keep our hair melted or like just le looking really sleek and nice. Um, especially with that new fresh, fresh retwist. You want to make sure all the parts stay nice and neat. Um, oh, it helps to maintain frizz. So... One thing we all can't avoid, and it happens all the time, like throughout the whole lock journey, is frizz. It's not avoidable. But when you do tie down your hair, it does maintain and like lower the likeliness of your frizz. Like there are times that I've done my hair, and no, I've done my makeup, and I've done my hair, and like I noticed that it did get some frizz. I would spray my hair with some water, put on my head tie real quick. By the time I leave my hair, my hair is, by the time I leave my house, my hair is flat. So doing little things like that, making sure that when you are not out in your home, having your hair tied up, keeping it off your shoulders, um, just not having it rub against all your clothing, all your fabrics, anything around you, no lint, no, no pollen or whatever, because all of that stuff does affect our hair. So um, lint as well, like making sure that we keep our hair up and out of the way when we are not out, if you have to, if you need to. But for the most part, yeah, just keeping your hair tucked in is what will definitely help you to maintain your retwist. And in addition to keeping your hair up and out of the way, is keeping your hands out of your locks. So when we are constantly rubbing our hands through our hair, like, this is affecting our locks. They're rubbing together. They're going to cause frizz. They're going to have some kind of friction together, as well as our nails. Our nails can go through it and we snag a lock. Like, we can pull a strand out. We can mess up that lock because of our nails like our nails can do a lot of damage to our hair and that's another thing why i want to say keep your hair keep your hand out of your hair because you can do more harm than damage when you just want to just play in your hair or just see how it feels try to avoid it the as mo uh, try to avoid it the best that you can um i know like with having locks our hair is really itchy so a way that I have done to combat that is to take like maybe a bobby pin or like one of my clips. I would just take it and scratch that one little area. Even a rat tail comb, poke that in there wherever it's itching because when we use our hands, that also messes up and make the hair come out of the, the part and does all that. So just, if you can bother, like if you can without scratching with your hands, finding an object nearby and just, just rubbing it in that area really quickly just to soothe the itching because I know our hair be itching like crazy especially when you start with your first baby locks and everything when you're first starting the journey I remember I used to pat my hair like crazy because it was itching um, another way to help that is also moisturize your hair so when you moisturize and put some oil in your hair that will also seal all the itching and can really because a lot of times when we're itching Yes, it's because of like all the, the new thing that's going on in our hair because it's trying to mature, it's trying to do all of this stuff. And moisture is really the what's going to really help you when you are starting with your long journey. Moisture, a lot of water, whether you're drinking water and spraying water in your hair because water is really what's going to help your hair lock. So I'll constantly spraying water and oil in your hair will definitely help you with locking your hair as well as soothing the itching that comes with when you have locks. Now, one thing that I do want to touch on that can cause your retwists not to last is sweating. So, like, I know a lot of us are in the gym, we're working out, we're playing ball, we're dancing, we do all that we can to stay active, stay fit. Especially the summer times coming, you want to be snatched, you want your body to look right. Um, sweating is also going to stop your hair from, your, like, your lock, your lock retwist from lasting. Oh my gosh, English. 
sweating will cause your reed twist to not last as long because like I said moisture like especially along the the hairline this is exactly where a lot of people complain about their reed twist not lasting because that is exactly where you're sweating um what I do when I go to the gyms I have a head scarf a head scarf take it tie it around my edges so that if I do sweat the moisture is absorbed by the scarf and it doesn't stay in my hair and then um so yeah that definitely helps me when I go to the gym for my edges keeping my hair up and not on my neck will also help if you have long hair um, if you need to work out with a bonnet on to work out with your bonnet on like doing something just to keep your hair out of your face off of your body while you're doing all this physical activity can help your retweets to last as long as it can all right so this was a really quick and to the point video that I want to put out to you guys um, let's go through all the points together so the first one that I mentioned was um, styling so when you retwist your hair making sure that you have a style as well so that can also prolong how long your retwist lasts second one is on a schedule so plan out I retwisted my hair this date I'm going to wait five weeks six weeks seven weeks however many weeks after that initial retwist to do the next one so you have something to look forward to you can plan out you can say okay in the meantime this is what I'm gonna do so I'm making my hair last so having a schedule will definitely help you and planning out what you want to do and especially if you have events coming up, if you have things to come that you have that's coming up in the future, you can plan out around that. So I know that this is coming up. Let me retwist my hair this week so that when I get close to that date, it looks good. So and so and so forth. So that, that was number two. Number three was to tie your hair down. Tie your hair down at night. Tie your hair down when you're at home. Tie your hair down when you don't need to be out. Tie your hair down whenever you can because it will also maintain your hair, keep it out of the way, keep your hair moisturized. And you reap all the benefits of keeping your hair out of the way with the lint, avoiding pollen, all of this stuff. Because our hair are lint magnets. So do that. Number four, keep your hands out of your hair. You don't want your nails snagging in your locks. You don't want to be itching and scratching and you're pulling your hair out of the parts. Like, making sure that your hands are always clean that's another thing I didn't mention make sure that your hair are clean don't have like dirty filthy hands when you're touching your hair like making sure that we're clean we're sanitized we're like we're doing everything that we can to make sure that our health is good on the outside as well as the inside um, and number five it wasn't a way to make your retwist last long but it could be a cause and how we can stop or we can work on this and that was a sweating part about when you are sweating um, having a scarf around the perimeter of your hair, having a scarf there, working out with a bonnet, putting on your do-rag, and just making sure that our hair is up and out of the way when we are doing physical activity so that we can maintain our nice sleek parts and retwists. So, this was pretty fast. I just wanted to get something out to you guys so you guys can have some quick ideas. I know the summertime is coming up. We want to make our hair look as good as possible. We want to take these pics. We want to go on traveling. We want to do all these vacations. So here are some ways that we can make our retwist last as long as possible. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Give me a like and subscribe for more videos. I'm trying to post every week. So we can do this. I'm doing vlogs. I'm doing lifestyle. I'm doing hair. Very soon. I mean, I'm not a beauty girl. But I, I can do a little makeup. I can do a little makeup. But we're not there yet, alright? But thank you guys so much for watching again, and I'll see you guys in my next video.